Well, it's officially business as usual in Ottawa today, too, at least according to the government. The opposition, though, isn't buying it. It's been almost two weeks since the Senate expense scandal broke, and the Prime Minister still hasn't answered a single question about it in the House of Commons. As Jacques Bourbeau reports, Stephen Harper is back in Ottawa now after a trip to South America, but he spent another day avoiding the tough questions. They were primed and ready to attack Prime Minister Stephen Harper over the Senate expenses scandal. There we go with the Conservative playbook. Plan A, hide out in South America. Plan B, blame the opposition. Why don't they try Plan C, start telling Canadians the truth? The problem is Harper wasn't in his seat in the House of Commons. Instead, he was in his office across the street from Parliament Hill. Tell his peekaboo prime minister to stop hiding from Canadians. He needs to start showing some accountability. James Moore was the designated hitter for the PM today, and his defense was to go on the offensive, attacking the NDP and one of its MPs, who admitted last week he hasn't paid a $58,000 tax bill. If he really believes in accountability, maybe he'll tell this House how many more NDP MPs are not paying their taxes. But that didn't stop the attacks from coming, the Liberals joining the fray. The Liberals are moving a motion today in Ethics Committee to study the scandal facing the PMO. But once again, the Conservatives had their ammunition ready, attacking Trudeau for defending the Senate because it gives Quebec more power. We have 24 senators from Quebec, and there are just six from Alberta and six from B.C., Trudeau told the Quebec newspaper. That's to our advantage. All Canadians should be served by national institutions, and the Liberal leader should stop dividing Canadians again and again. Over these I am a Quebecer, uh, and from time to time, when I am speaking with Quebecers, I might use the word we. And today, the Liberals tried another tactic to get some answers. Newfoundland Liberal MP Scott Andrews called for full-blown parliamentary hearings into the Senate scandal. These are uh, Conservatives that came into government, uh, came into government on the on the high horse of accountability. They're the ones that talked about it for years. Now, you know, it's time to walk the walk. But the motion was defeated. Meantime, the Senate continues its investigations. Tomorrow, a committee starts re-examining Mike Duffy's expenses and gets the latest on the audit into Pam Wallen's spending. Jopper Bow, Global News, Ottawa.